This is the only scary animal I have. I... And in truth, not oh. really that scary. Uh... I mean, uh... this guy's from what Cuba. It's a rock iguana, but what I want you to a see, what? a rock iguana or rhino iguana, and they call that because they'll have like a little rhinoceros nose, but look at its eyes. It's got like dinosaur human eyes, red with blue centers. Human eyes. Right? Look at that. It's so weird. So weird. So these guys are in danger. Can I hold him? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Want yeah. Oh my god. Just careful they'll scratch, but it okay. will scratch you and its face is by me. Nice. Say, say hi, hi can, Chloe. If What's his name? Hi, Chloe. Uh, his name's The Rock because he's a rocky guy. Oh my god, please. Chloe. Seriously, I can't okay. so, so big dominant Does this bite, male. Though? They'll they will bite. Oh, I mean, good. but, but Mom, not people. <laughs> take it that way. So, so look at this. You see those? I'm not those sure this was jowls. such a good idea. <laughs> Do you immediately yeah, regret your decision? Yeah, but is it gonna decision? like snap at no, me? No, well, they're super um, friendly. This one's grown up in captivity. How do we know if it's gonna bite? How old um, is this thing? And it will start thing? freaking out. They're about 12 years it'll old, and they can. It'll start freaking out. Yeah, oh, good. How festive. And and when animals start freaking out, usually humans start freaking out too. So we uh, try and keep it calm. Just be calm. Yeah, no. Okay. Why is the its jowl oh, so mom, stop big? It, please, mom, can you big, just lean a little that way? <laughs> no, but it's I, staring at me with its human eyes. Give him a kiss. Come on. Just be so nice the, to the him. jowls are, he's a male. So oh, he's, he's starting big, to breathe heavy. dominant male. Oh, Mom, he wants seriously, to seriously, don't say that. I'm going to get up and run. <laughs> okay, let me take this guy. Yeah! Oh, <laughs> Mom! <laughs> oh, you're so easy to mess with. I can't even take oh. it. All right. <laughs> but, like, you just put its face right here, and they said it, but... Oh, my. I am so excited. Can I hold this one? Yes. <laughs> oh. So this is this is Jackson and Jackson's a little snow leopard. It's four months old. I could hold Can him. Yeah, absolutely. Just and you want to be as gentle as possible. Jackson unfortunately has had a bit of gas, so you oh. might smell some stinky stuff. That makes two of us. But there's He's oh. licking the meat. These cats in the wild they're Ew, that's the real Himalayas. Meat. Yeah, absolutely. They have to eat. Oh. Hey Jackson, here you go. Jackson, so where, where these I'm guys nice. occur. I don't wear real fur, I promise. <laughs> There's only 6,000 of them left in the wild. They can uh, jump 50 feet, and they only grow up to four feet high. 50, 50 feet? 50 feet. They're mountain cats. Yeah, look at that. I am so and excited. this is a boy? This is a boy. Their camouflage is to obviously blend into the environment, uh -huh. but their tails... This is look... the best thing you've ever done besides Henry. <laughs> right? Put look the, at that put tail. Put the food in, in, close to you, and it'll come to you. Yeah, look, that's why it was running away. It wants yeah, the food. He, he was a little grumpy backstage. He's oh. like, you know, they're cats. They do what they no. want. You can't really train them or teach them to do much. They yeah, just, Mom, they're, they're not pretty like much, your kids. When they, when they get upset, <laughs> they'll do their own thing. But the thing with him is his tail, super fluffy and big. They use it for balance, but it's so cold where they live. They'll sleep like this and actually cover all their sensitive Aww. parts He's with their so tail. He's so beautiful. Right? See, this works uh -huh. in a captive breeding program and education. So mm -hmm. that they, this is an ambassador that's over here. And then they work with conservation in places like the Himalayas and Africa. There's even a group that does cheetah research in Savo. And I fly out on Saturday to go work with cheetahs in Africa. So it's, you know, Aww. trying to do conservation in the States with ambassadors and then conservation in the field with the animals. I know you guys can't see this as well at home, but it, it looks, it doesn't even look real. He right? looks like a stuffed animal. He's so beautiful.